Hello everyone, uh, welcome to AWS Tutorials. In AWS Tutorials, we provide workshop and exercises to learn about AWS services. These workshops and exercises are published to our website, aws-dozo.com. You can visit our website, uh, can run the workshop and exercises. Each workshop and exercise implement a particular scenario, you implement the scenario and learn about AWS services. Today, we are going to have a very small exercise where we are going to implement Lambda layers and we will understand how to use Lambda layers with Lambda function to increase reusability. So let's get a quick heads around Lambda layer and then we'll see a quick hands-on around a workshop with, uh, I, mean, I mean, a quick lab around that. So uh, let's talk about Lambda layers first. Um, when you're building multiple Lambda functions, um, most of the time you will have a requirement where you want to um, you want to uh, reuse certain part of the code. So you have some common uh, business logic, or um, so you have some types of uh, common assets which you want to share across Lambda function. And gee, these common business logics, these common assets, asset could be things like resource files, could be. Uh, I mean, as, as simple as a JSON document, which every Lambda function wants to use, or it, it could be, um, yeah, it, it could be some kind of configuration which every Lambda file uh, wants to use. So such assets or common business logic, you can put inside uh, this common layer, which is Lambda layer. And then this Lambda layer can then be shared with uh, more than one Lambda function for them to use it. So basically Lambda layer is like a common library which increases reusability of the common assets and business logic code across more than one Lambda function. So it's a pretty powerful feature uh, because it really um, uh, enhances if you're building a large stack of Lambda functions for your, uh, for your uh, application development then reusability is one aspect which becomes very prominent and that's where Lambda function helps you. When you are talking about Lambda functions, um, think not only about Lambda functions which you are creating. So, uh, or, or sorry, uh, when talking about Lambda layers, think not only about the Lambda layers you are creating. So yeah, you are creating your own Lambda layer, but there could be Lambda layers which are coming from uh, your partners or third party uh, layers. There are Lambda layers, which is provided by AWS uh, as well. So your Lambda layers could be your own code, could be a code provided by AWS, or could be a code provided by your partner or third party, okay? So it's pretty straightforward. So today we are going to do a very quick exercise, very simple exercise, but the whole purpose of exercise to understand how Lambda layer works. So what we are going to build over here is pretty straightforward thing. We are going to create a Lambda layer and this Lambda layer will have two Python files, two Python libraries, common lib one and common lib two. And this, these two libraries or Python files will have two functions, common function one and common function two. Pretty simple function guys, you will laugh when you see the code. And what we are going to do then we are going to mount this Lambda layer to a Lambda functions, and then from Lambda functions, simply call these libraries. And that will demonstrate how uh, Lambda layer works with Lambda function. Those example here are pretty simple because the purpose is to quickly make you understand how Lambda layer works, but you obviously understand that you can build a very complex business logic and reusable components through layers over here. So in order to run this uh, exercise, we have provided, uh, we have uploaded exercise to our website, aws-dozo.com. The URL of this exercise has been provided in the description box below. You can follow the instructions of the URL to implement, the, uh, instruction of the exercise to implement the uh, scenario. Uh, and in the remaining part of this video, I'm going to quickly, quickly show you what are the steps involved to uh, implement this scenario. So let's go to our website. 
So this is the website aws-dojo.com where we have published this exercise about lambda layers. So let's go through the steps. There are multiple steps involved. So first step is obviously uh, you need to have an AWS account. And if you don't have any AWS account, um, you might want to use this link to create uh, the AWS account. Then uh, in a step two, we go and configure a, lamb, uh, a Lambda layer. What we have done is that uh, we have provided you a, a code uh, for the Lambda layer, which, can, which you can download from uh, uh, this link below, uh, this link over here. Uh, this code actually has a Python folder, okay? And then in this Python folder, we have got two files, commonlib1.py uh, and commonlib2.py. And then in these two common lib one and com common lib two, we have got two functions defined, common function one and common function two. And these functions are very much eco functions. So you simply pass some input and they say, okay, yeah, you called me and this is your input. Okay, just to demonstrate how layers work. So what we have done is that these two uh, files are part of the Python folder. And then this Python folder has been zipped. And that zip file is over here. Obviously, if you want to change the code over here and want to write something very complex, yeah, feel free to do so. I leave that to your uh, yeah, de development. So uh, you can download this, uh, this, G this GIF file over here. Then what you do, you go to, uh, yeah, you log into AWS console. Uh, we are using the Ireland region, Ireland region in this exercise. Uh, then we, uh, yeah, you go to the Lambda console, you click on the layers on the left hand side, then you click on the create layer, layer button, then it will ask you, give me the name of the layer, you provide the layer name, you provide, uh, yeah, you upload the GIF file, uh, the link I just showed above. You can also refer the uh, GIF file from an S3 location, but in this case, we simply uploaded the GIF file. Uh, so this python.gif file, and then you provide uh, the runtime compatibility, so like which kind of, which runtime lambda functions can use this layer yeah so this is python 3.a in this case and we simply create uh, the layer and layer creates with version one now uh, the layer is created that means your common business logic is in place now we need to go and create a lambda function so you simply go to uh, no, you in fact on the same uh, lambda console you click on the functions and then you click on uh, the create function button and then you start writing uh, the function from the scratch uh, you give a nice name to the function, say in this case, uh, Dojo Lambda function. You choose the runtime, and runtime is Python 3.8. And then you need to provide some permission. Well, we don't basically need any permission for this uh, Lambda function over here. So we simply decided, okay, let's let's go with uh, you know, the basic Lambda permission, which is generally granted to a role um, uh, in a Lambda function, which generally gives you access to the Cloud Log Watch and those kind of things. Uh, so you simply uh, do that and you create the functions. function. When the function is created, you can see uh, there is a layers uh, icon over here. It says there is no layer. There, there are zero layer attached to this function. So you click on the uh, button called add layer. And when you click on the button add layer, it opens up a section uh, calling, uh, no, it, it opens, a, uh, sorry, uh, I'm running a little fast. So if you click on this icon layers over here, it opens up, um, yeah, it opens up uh, a section where you can click on add a layer. And then when you go uh, to uh, you know, layer, you can really see, you can choose a layer provided by AWS. You can choose an air through a layer, uh, so you can choose a layer provided by AWS. You can choose a layer provided by third party uh, and that you can specify using uh, an ARN. Or you can say, I'm going to use a custom layer, which is a layer which uh, in your account or organization, which you have built. Uh, in this case, uh, you will find this Dojo layer listed over here and version one listed. So you select both of them and simply say, I want to add this layer. And layers gets added uh, in no time. So once uh, the layer has been added, you can start using those libraries inside your function code. And that's what we are showing over here. So next you go and change your code. Uh, so you remember we have this common lib pi and common, common lib one and two pi, Python files. We simply import those libraries and we uh, no, provide alias name like clib1 and clib2. And then uh, we simply use clib1 common function one to call the common function defined inside common lib1. And then uh, clib2.common function two to uh, simply 
uh, invoke the function defined in common library too. And we are passing event as uh, the parameter. Uh, and of course, these two functions will echo me back uh, my input, which we are, which I'm simply yeah, uh, concatenating together and returning back. So pretty straightforward call. So don't laugh at my code, guys, please. It's very simple, I know. But the purpose is to make you understand how Lambda function work, not to teach you how to write a Python code. That you know probably better than me. So once you have done that, uh, then we, uh, yeah, um, uh, what we do is that simply go and upload the Lambda function. Uh, save and upload the Lambda function. So my uh, Lambda code get updated, it's saved. Now I want to test the Lambda function to see if it is calling my common library. So you click on this test link over here, which provides you uh, actually a, a pop-up where you can go and define your test uh, configuration. Uh, here we are providing a test name or even name called say Dojo test, and we are passing this test data as a sample data, which will be passed through the uh, event parameter. And once we have configured this test, uh, we select that test and run it in Lambda function. And if you see the output, the Lambda, we run it, and you can see the output. Um, the output says that common function one called with input test data, common function two called with input test data. That means both of the libraries has been called uh, uh, and, uh, and functions in the library have been called and their responses have been concatenated and returned back to me. So it's, it's as simple as like, yeah, I mean, like you do a normal Python development guys where you can, you generally write your reusable code inside, uh, uh, yeah, inside libraries, those library you import and then call the Lambda function. Working with layers is no different from that. You can write your Python, Python library, you can write your common libraries into the layers, simply add the layer to your Lambda function, and this layer can be added to more than one Lambda function. And then, uh, yeah, in case of like Python, you import the library, call the methods of functions inside that. So as simple as that. So that was all uh, for this exercise today. Uh, the last step is to go clean up the resources so that your accounts goes back to where you started and you don't incur any co cost post this exercise. So that was pretty much for this exercise, guys. Uh, a very small one exercise, but for those who have were not aware of Lambda function, this was an exercise to make them understand how uh, um, you know, uh, the, the layers inside Lambda function works. They, uh, if you like the exercise, please click on the like button. Please subscribe to our channels. We generally try to create one or two such videos every week, and I, I'm sure you will find them useful uh, when learning about AWS services. Okay, uh, so there are many other workshops and exercises similar to this one, a uh, few more complex, few similar, simple as this one, uh, which you can actually learn, uh, run to learn about AWS services. I, I strongly recommend you please yeah, go through, search about the kind of uh, topic you're interested in, and, and yeah, you use that exercise to learn about AWS services. If you have any feedback about the content or any uh, thing you want to complain about, or if you have a request about any uh, new content, you can either provide us a comment in our YouTube channel, or you can also click on this contact us button and um, yeah, and uh, provide feedback to us. Hope you like this video. And again, if you like, please click on the like button. Uh, that is all for today. Um, see you again sometime soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.